dark alcohol fuel cell is a clean, efficient, and sustainable energy technology. First, alcohols, including methanol and ethanol, are high energy density carrier that can be produced from renewable sources such as biomass. Secondly, direct alcohol fuel cells can convert the chemical energy of alcohol directly into electricity efficiently and with no emission of pollutants. The widespread use of direct alcohol fuel cells will reduce the air pollution and climate change problems. Direct methanol fuel cell consists of three key components, anode, cathode, and electrode membrane. Methanol solution is oxidized and anode to produce electron and proton. Electron goes through the external circuit to arrive at a cathode. Proton migrate from anode to cathode to meet with oxygen, electron to produce water. So if a supply of methanol solution and oxygen continuously to the fuel cell, power will be generated continuously. Fuel cell research is highly interdisciplinary and requires the knowledge of different fields, including electrochemistry, thermal fluids, and material and so on. Mathematically, fuel cell performance is a function of many variables and it's extremely difficult to improve the cell performance. Over the past decade, we developed a robust theory that enables a tremendous increase in the cell performance. Specifically, the power density of a direct methanol fuel cell is six times higher than that of the 10 years ago. There exists a tremendous market opportunity for direct methanol fuel cell for powering portable electronic devices such as laptop computers, smartphones. People expect more features, more functionality in use portable electronic devices, which call for more power and more energy. Batteries cannot meet the demand, but direct methanol fuel cell can. With further improvement in direct methanol fuel cells performance, these type of fuel cells can be used to propel cars in the future. Conventional fuel cells use hydrogen as the fuel. In compared with gas hydrogen, liquid methanol and ethanol have two distinct advantages. First, liquid fuel have much higher energy density. Secondly, liquid fuels are much easier in storage, transportation and handling. Battery is an energy storage device. A fuel cell is the engine that generates power on site. In batteries, reactants are self contained at all times, hence, the energy density is limited. On the other hand, in fuel cells, reactants are supplied externally, therefore, both energy density and the power density of a fuel cells are much higher than those of batteries. Charging battery is slow, but charging fuel cell is like feeding a tank. My previous research was focused on heat transfer. Ten years ago, I found that fuel cell research requires the knowledge of heat transfer and realized the fuel cell's potential to enable the widespread use of renewables. I find satisfaction in my research because it addresses press global energy issue. My wish is to make our future energy system cleaner, greener, and more sustainable. More recently, my research has also expanded to other types of renewable energy conversion technology, including flow batteries for grid-scale energy storage, and some ion batteries for future electric vehicles. My research has been generously supported by RGC, ITC, and other funding from industry. I have been working at HQST for 20 years. The university created a great atmosphere for professors working here. HQST students are passionate and hardworking, two very important qualities to be successful in research. 
I find a tremendous enjoyment in teaching them. Currently, the use of renewable energy is so limited because renewable energy conversion technology is expensive. We must reduce the cost. To that end, we need to increase the performance of different energy conversion technology so that the amount of required material can be reduced. The research for renewable energy is emerging. There are tremendous areas at tap and are waiting for young researchers. We need to increase the use of renewable energy, but in doing so, we must find and use cheaper, more durable, and more efficient energy conversion technology. The use of renewable energy will undergo tremendous increase in the years to come.